Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim in the Sefer of Mitzvah Zakotzar. Today's Mitzvah Loisa say the negative commandment Kuf Pei one hundred and eighty. You cannot have an ox and a donkey plow a field together. Shenemar, like it says in the Torah, Loisach Roish Bishor Vechamor Yachda. It says it explicitly, do not have an ox and a donkey plow the field together. Now, one of the reasons is, as the, I believe, as the Sifse Chachomim brings down in the Torah, and that is the following. Because a shor, an ox, is a kosher animal and it chews its cud. A chamor is a non-kosher animal that does not chew its cud. And as they are plowing the field together, it sees that the ox is constantly eating. Whatever it puts in its mouth, it continues to chew and chew and chew. The chamor, the donkey, he's not able to eat as much. He's not always chewing. <clears throat> and he begins to feel bad. He says to himself, wow, our master must like the ox so much better because he continues to give him food. And as me, I don't have so much food to eat. So the Torah is telling us how careful you have to be even in the emotional world of a donkey that maybe you're going to end up causing him pain and hurting him. Halach has come of a kama, the more so much we have to be careful not to hurt and pain other human beings. Says the Chavetz Chaim, Vuadin kol malach sha'oyse b'shnei mini behima. Any kind of work that you're going to do with two different types of animals, Echaya, whether they are domesticated or wild animals. If one of them is tame, one of them is not pure animal, and the other one is is pure, I feel in higam bekol Even if you just call them and they come, they do the job on their own. How do you does it like it? You're going to get lashes as a result. But if you just put them together in a pair and you don't do anything with them, potter. You, you're not going to be, oh, you didn't transgress anything for doing that. Until you actually pull them, or you get them to go and pull the wagon or the like. Even if there's a hundred people that are pulling these animals together, so you would say, well, a hundred people, neither one is really pulling the ox, neither one is really pulling the donkey, no, or she Yashua or let's say you're just sitting on the wagon. And so you're just sitting on the wagon, so you're not really pulling them, the kind of they're going on their own. Kulam Laikin in all these cases, whoever is involved in pairing these two animals together is going to get lashes. This is something that is applies everywhere all the time, for men and for women. And therefore, if we have to be careful not to hurt the feelings and the emotions of the animal and not to put two, two animals together that don't belong together, so all the more so we have to be careful to make sure that we are careful with the people that we put together as well. And the Sefer HaChinuch writes on this mitzvah that if that's the way it is with animals, then people who you know have very extreme differences between each other, who their differences are going to create tension and the like, don't put them together. Don't put them in the office together. Don't let them get married together. Be, beware, says the Sefer HaChinuch, people that are too different, where one is going to end up hurting the other. They shouldn't become the partners. They shouldn't become a husband and wife. They should be friends. That's okay. But to put them together under the same roof, you're just asking for trouble, as the as the mitzvah tells us over here. Even the the uh, the donkey is going to have his feelings hurt when it sees how much food the ox is able to eat. So therefore, we'll be careful with the way that we treat others as well. Have a wonderful day.